Roll with her. Showtime, folks. And there goes all that propaganda about men and women being equal as far as uh, physical contacts go. Keep in mind this guy was just playing around. I don't think he was using even 30% of his overall power and she still couldn't handle it even though she was at 110%. Equal rights and equal lifts. Am I saying that right? Don't walk past my video, bro. Bro, don't walk past my video, bro. I said I'm recording right here, bro. You walk past my shit. Yes. Fuck. Yeah. No consideration for me. Yeah. You're walking past my shit. I'm recording right here. You still gonna walk past my shit. No fun at that. I don't know who the who this clown think he is, but you just don't do that, especially at the gym now. If you ask me. Personally, I believe that if you don't have someone to record you and only you Then uh, you shouldn't be filming and you shouldn't be making rules about uh, having others move their uh, another way just so you can record yourself doing stuff You can go at specific hours when it's empty and not be a dick about it other than that Just don't approach people like that and don't be rude like that because you might find out Nothing can prepare you for that feeling when things end with the person you thought you spent your life with. Oh. That's gonna be good. I never understood this uh, desire to film yourself while crying and just film yourself during your most personal and intimate moments and just tell the whole world like hey everyone look at me I'm crying over this uh, betrayal or whatever it is just shut up just live your life and be civilized about it don't tell anyone we don't want to know because now you have idiots like me commenting on it on YouTube. Reminder. If she's not cooking fast enough, you just tell her that she only has one job. And now click. <laughs> we had to move away to get the rest of it, but that will click her primordial instincts. Ah, you're so stupid. <laughs> Can a man be a minimalist and still be attractive to most modern women? If he's minimalistic in, in the sense that it should be, like thinking of the environment and thinking of the impact and do I really need this and am I going to sell this at, you know, like, am I paying quality or am I buying shit and then having to replace it? Most, no. Very, very, very few women are going to like a man that doesn't have, that doesn't have drip, that doesn't have a nice fancy car. Women aren't going to like a guy that lives under, lives under the bridge. They're not gonna like a guy that rents a, a room in a basement. They're not gonna like a guy that drives a, a car from 1984 with 250,000 miles on it and eats a foot long Subway sandwich for dinner every night before playing Madden. Yeah, but you see that's because women are just naturally inclined towards men with resources for the children. That's why women have certain standards. Now, most women will use this as a way to use men for their resources and not for the children but you cannot blame women and their biological impulse for that because 
you see we as men we finish our jobs within like five minutes and some of you lot in five minutes you can finish your job twice as far as creating kids go but then it's about the mother like getting pregnant feeding the baby like breastfeeding it and all that stuff right so we as men we have to provide and that doesn't make them shallow it only makes them shallow if uh, they will use you and your resources for them and them only if your partner were to die how soon until you'd start dating someone else <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what do you think Blaine is gonna say a year a year and a half a month or two a month or two exactly yeah I don't know. A month. <laughs> yes or no, have you ever been attracted to someone else while you were with your partner? No. Yes. I mean, I think it's natural and it's human, but I mean... If they are still together after this interview, then that relationship is over anyway. Yes, it's natural to find some people attractive here and there, especially if you walk out into a big city. Other than that, it's just like if you are with someone then that someone should be your everything anything else just leads to toxicity let me just walk up on you like that i just you know i like what i see so i forgot to speak oh thank you no problem maybe we should get to know each other i'm actually kind of late like i'm on the way somewhere let me just take your number down we should go to dinner. Okay. it never fails man got one coach i'm not that late i actually like just check the time so if you want to get my uh, i don't like wasting time. Waste time so what's up we can both take care of each other so how are you gonna take care of me then? I think you know I'm gonna take care of you. Show me then. This space is too small. It ain't never too small. If you're living like that for real. <laughs> That's crazy. You're gonna like bust a check. Well, I don't pay to play, baby. So you're not finna give me no money. I can show you how to get some money, but I'm not about to hit. put no money in your pocket. You're not my woman. I'm Quit. gonna be so for real. I'm not even interested or worried about any of that. I'm interested about what you got, what you got to give me for my time. She belongs to the streets. I mean this is pretty obviously like some of the worst acting that i've ever seen in my life this uh, thing this whole gold digger prank has been played out so many times like i remember watching this type of stuff like 11 12 years ago from like vitaly zd tv and people are still doing it to this day which just blows my mind what's your most unpopular opinion if you don't cheat you get cheated on so are you a cheater yeah so you've never been loyal in a relationship? He cheated first, so I cheated back. But worse. How was it worse? It's his homies. <laughs> you smashed his homies? Yeah. More than one? Two. Jesus can't save these hoes. Who do you think should pay on the first date? Definitely not me. <laughs> man should always pay. Oh my god, a man should always pay. No questions asked. Always or just on the first? Always. Always. Uh, men should pay for everything. <laughs> Something we feel strongly on, really? actually. Yeah, so you asked the right question. He's a 10, but he doesn't have a job. Oh, he's but a he minus have, nothing. Get job? out of bed. Unless he won the lottery and he's a millionaire, then that's fair enough. Not got a job, get in the van. Yeah. Go away. Yeah, it's a bit of an ick. Yeah. He's a 10, but he goes clubbing every weekend. He's a 10, yeah. get me involved. So do we. Yeah. Um, the clubbing is absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't know what these bros are talking in. I I'm assuming this is English. Other than that, this, I I'm not saying that men shouldn't like pay because obviously if you invite a woman, you pay because you're the guy, right? But it's just like the expectation and the entitlement is what gets me. It's like that should be just a mutual understanding and nothing more. You let a woman know that you are interested in her. You let her know that you think she's beautiful, okay? You don't want to come off too thirsty. You don't want to come off like you're chasing her. Always prioritize yourself first. Always make sure you're getting your work done and, you know, she knows that you're always going to put yourself first. These ain't opinions. These are facts. Now you come? Your boy Terry. So y'all a couple? Yeah. Y'all yeah. trust each other? Hell yeah. yeah. For sure? Yeah. That's my man. How long y'all been together? Three years. Three years? Yeah. Three, Three years, y'all gotta trust each other. We're gonna do a quick little loyalty test. We're gonna switch phones. Alright. That's cool? Yeah. So, rock, paper, scissors. Who wanna go first? Huh? Gonna, what are you doing, bro? Get off your phone. I'm changing my phone. Somebody had texted me. Hey, don't blow my drink. You gotta play rock, paper, scissors here. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going first. Go ahead. Go crazy. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. When's the last time you've been on your phone? Never? Never. Bring it in. <laughs> what 
Unlock this. Unlock your phone. Unlock your phone. Unlock it. Unlock it. No. Wait, unlock the phone. Unlock the phone. Unlock it. Unlock it for real though. Unlock it. No, no, no. We ain't go through it. Unlock the phone. Unlock it. 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 Unlock